Today, during this experiment, we're going to learn about water quality parameters and measure those using analytical equipment. The first parameter we're going to be testing is pH, and that pH indicates the intensity of uh, acid or base present in a solution. And it's important in water treatment processes, um, such as disinfection, coagulation, water softening, and corrosion control. To measure pH, you can do it two ways. The first way is using test strips. You just take a strip and you dunk it in your sample, remove it immediately, and you wait about 15 seconds for it to change colors. And you can use the bottle to compare the color. It has a pH of around 6. and pH less than 7 indicates it's acidic. pH greater than 7 indicates that the solution is basic. The second way to test pH of a sample is with a probe. And you take the probe, you put it in your sample, and wait till it stabilizes, and the meter will give a reading. The next parameter that we'll be testing is the dissolved oxygen content of a solution. Dissolved oxygen is necessary for supporting aquatic life and it requires 5 milligrams per liter. To measure uh, dissolved oxygen content, use the probe again, wait till it stabilizes and it'll be visible on the meter. The next water quality parameter is alkalinity and you can measure that using a test strip. The same thing, you take a test strip, stick it in the water, and it'll give the reading. And it's measured in milligrams per liter of CaCO3. And the importance of alkalinity is to measure the capacity of the sample to neutralize acids. And there's three major classes, hydroxide, carbonates, and bicarbonates. The next water quality parameters that we're going to be testing are phosphate and nitrate. They both use a a test strip and the directions are on the back and there's also a scale that you can compare your test strip on the back to. Nitrate and phosphate are important water quality parameters because nitrate and phosphate are strong indicators of algae growth as they use them for nutrients to grow. Um, you want algae growth to be low in water samples because uh, when they're decomposed a process called eutrophication takes place and eutrophication basically means uh, that the system is losing a lot of dissolved oxygen in the water and it will kill off aquatic life. So the units for nitrate and phosphate testing are parts per million. Next you will measure the hardness of your water sample. Hardness is caused by the presence of divalent cations in the water which combine with soap to form precipitates and combine with anions to form scale. Main cations that cause hardness are calcium, magnesium, ferrous iron, and monogamous ions. Hardness will be measured in this lab using test strip. Dip it in the water, compare the color on the side after the allotted time. Next, you will determine the turbidity of your sample, which is the tendency of water to scatter light. It's measured in NTUs. And it determines the amount of suspended solids present in your water sample. Less than 5 NTUs appears clear. Disinfected water should be below 1 NTU. For this laboratory, you'll be taking this measurement using the turbidimeter, which, for which you add your water to the sample bottle. Make sure that there's no oils from your skin on the outside. If there are, wipe them off with a rag. So the next water parameter we're going to be testing for is color. Um, testing for color in a water sample is important because it signifies the amount of dissolved solids and dissolved compounds that are within a, a water sample. Um, the way water is measured is in a, for color is measured in platinum cobalt units. And the way we're going to test for color is by using a spectrophotometer. What we're going to do is we're going to put water inside of this little vial and it's going to be put into the spectrophotometer with the uh, the little, there's going to be a little V-shaped line on the spectrophotometer, and that's going to be facing towards you when you put it in. And um, you're going to give it a little while, and then you're going to get a, uh, a color value after that.
So the final parameter we're going to be testing for is conductivity. Um, conductivity is a measure of all the anions and cations present in a mixture in a water sample. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a conductivity meter. So you're going to take the probe and you're going to put it into your water sample. And once it stabilizes, you'll have a conductivity value of your water sample.